lure here in uh, fresh water. I use that a lot. I've got the uh, quarter ounce and then I also have the sixteenth ounce double blade. They both work. Uh, when I want to make a lot of noise I just use the bigger one because it does uh, draw attention and the, uh, the uh, stained water um, you know it'll stick out bigger, bigger bait, uh, more coverage for the site for the fish. And then, secondly, I've uh, tied up with um, 10 pound uh, spider wire. I have that as my main line. It's a braided line. I use that pretty much everywhere. Um, the braid just gives a lot more sensitivity for bites, for uh, action on the lure. A lot of reasons to use it. There are applications for mono, though. Just so, I'm also using uh, for my leader a uh, 10 pound Seaguar. You could go with Banish, it's just less, cost less, and uh, you get more. So, that's the other one you could use, and that's made by Berkeley. Um, I have 14 pound here, but um, on a normal basis, I would have 10 pound on the boat, especially in fresh water. You know, you can go 
little lighter if you're fishing for crappies and stuff like that. But there's a lot of tip on this lake, so it makes it makes a difference for you know breaking off and stuff. So I go slightly heavier. And then finally, uh, the rod. I'm using uh, Shakespeare's ugly stick. It's an intercoastal version. It's kind of looks like a normal rod, but it's still. to the other side of the swivel. It's a two-way swivel, one side and the other side. So, Take the, the main line, put it through the one side of the swivel. Do a quick uni knot. For braid, you want to go a few more times.